hey guys what's up so i'm gonna be doing another how to video this time i'm gonna do it, another one for alice madness returns last time it seems like keep getting a lot of comments on the previous video i made regarding the the fix basically because so the only thing i did was uh you know like increase the frames the a fps to 60 and that wasn't enough so i'm gonna do another one this one's a little more detailed so okay first we're gonna go to open windows explorer then you want to go to pc go to your steam install and here i have your steam is steam folder open that and go to steam apps go to common then go to files madness there you go to steam folder wait is that right? i don't know the only fix i was in a folder so forget what i just did so what we want to do is go to documents documents and that's where my alice madness returns is so I'm gonna go down to my games right here my games folder open that and go to Alice Madness Returns now what you want to do is uh, go inside the config folder go inside Alice game folder config folder and then you wanna see what we want to do is find the Alice engine which is this third one right here open that right click open with notepad then we're gonna scroll down and find engine dot engine so it's this one right here right so that's the one we need to find and then find bees background I think I already did this one try and see something Okay, it's right here. We use background streaming. And then what you wanna do is change this to true, which is already already did. So this one is true. What you wanna do is change that to false. Like this. So and then once you've done that, you wanna scroll down. First before I do all this. Yeah, I'll do this first then go down to texture streaming is that the uh... yeah texture streaming I'm trying to find that Let's see texture streaming did I pass it might have passed it I might have passed it. Scroll back up. Hey, what? That's the name of. Okay, here it is. So here's texture streaming. Then we're gonna find pool size 140. Make sure we change this to let's try 1300 there you go pool size 1300 and then what you want to do is click X and then click save so I'm not gonna do that because I'm not really having trouble with that and then you want to start the game and then check if it works then if that doesn't work you can try this this one what you want to do is uh so we're gonna go to alice game right here we're gonna open that right click open with notepad and then we're gonna scroll down and find engine world info there you go engine dot world info once you find that you want to look for max physics sub steps equals 10 max physics sub steps equals 10 right there and then you want to change the 10 to 5 okay then we're gonna scroll down and find engine dot decal manager engine dot decal manager right here 
and then we're gonna look for max active decals which is this one we're gonna change that to 50 50 so change 100 to 50 after that we're gonna close it again and save click X then click save and then play start the game I don't really need to do it because I'm not having trouble with that so if that still doesn't work what you want to do is uh, we're gonna go to a different thing so we're gonna close all that we're gonna go to Windows Explorer go to where Steam is installed mine's installed in D Steam then go to Steam Apps Common Folder then Alice Madness Returns then we're gonna go to I forgot which one it was. Was it Alice one? Let's go to Alice game. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go to engine config. Then we're gonna go to base engine. Just right click open with notepad. And then we're gonna go down to find the max smooth frame rate. Okay, let's try this again. So we're gonna open Windows Explorer, go to this PC, and then go to D, that's where my Steam is installed. Go to Steam folder, go to Steam apps, go to common folder, go to Alice Madness returns folder, then go to I think Alice game, and then go to config folder. So it's Alice game folder, config folder, then open default engine right click open with notepad and then we're gonna scroll down to so remember I think I remember it was max wood frame rate changing the max wood frame right here to 60 and so this next fix is gonna be we're gonna scroll down to unreal ed that unreal ed engine Real Ed. I hear this. Unreal Ed. Dot and wait. Is that right? Oh, that not that one. It's this one. Unreal Ed. Dot Unreal Ed Engine. And then you're gonna change the maximum frame rate 31. Change that to 60. Max mood frame rate. So max mood frame rate change that to 60 there you go and then that's it and then just click X then click save that's pretty much it I think I'll leave that but let's see and that should be it all right and if there's any I don't know I'm gonna try to figure out the other issues maybe look it up and fix the other the ones I couldn't figure out because I can't figure out the other issues causing the problems so I don't know every solution usually like I would go to the what was it the steam discussions for steam for Alice Madness Returns that's where I go you know go to the steam community for this game and try to look for a solution so later go ahead and close this Right, let's go ahead and test the game. See what happens.
using the controller. Looks pretty good. good and okay that's pretty good pretty smooth really no lag Oops. 